Okay, we do question five from the Juno Six S one paper. We've been told that the um, height a person can jump is normally distributed, and we're given two pieces of information. Probably that they can clear 1.78 meters. is 0.2. That's why five um, goes. And probably that they're less than one point, uh, more than 1.65 is 0.7. So I'm asked to represent this information in a diagram. So we'll sketch out the normal distribution and we'll place the values that we've been given roughly where they should go. So if we're going to clear about point 0.2 of the jumps are going to be in excess of 1.78, we'll show the sums of area up here and indicate that that would be 0.2. And then at 1.65, if 0.7 is above 1.65, you want a slightly larger area, shade it um, 0.2. So that can say the value there is 0.3. And that should be sufficient for you to um, pick up the marks. There's the sketch. We're now asked to find the um, values of mu and sigma. So we'll do this by using the information provided and forming two simultaneous equations. So the probability of x is greater than 1.78 equals 0.2. So we need to go into the z tables and we need to find um, lookup z 0 0.2, lookup 0 0.8. The reason um, we have to do that is we can't find 0 0.2 in the probabilities. So we're going to look up, I should say, and we look up, try and find the probability. So I'll put this slightly differently. We're looking for 0 0.8 as close as we can get to it and find the corresponding z value that goes with it. So we're saying that. Being below this z value is 0.8. So I go into those tables, the closest I can get is actually when the lookup z is 0.795. That's the probability, that's the closest we can get to 0.8. So we take the z value that gives that probability, which is 0.84. So I can line that up then with 0.84 z value. So if that's my z value, remember that z equals x minus mu over sigma. I can form an equation in two unknowns with that information. So I can say 0.84 equals the x unknown is 1.78 minus sigma all over minus mu all over sigma. So that's all not sigma. And then if I write that out, I get my equation one. I'm going to put down here. I'm going to say that's 0.84 sigma, and then I'm going to put plus mu equals 1.78, and that is my first equation. So with the second piece of information, I've got probably x is greater than 1.65 equals 0.7. Now I draw a diagram to show you how I get the that z value that goes at 1.65 would have to be negative. Um, because it more than um, our above it. That's going to bring it down underneath the zero and the z values. But what we'll do is we'll look for its part a positive value. And we're going to look up the probability that z is less than the particular value of z is 0 0.7. But if 0 0.7 this side goes with plus z, then the 0 0.7 above the negative value of z will be the same. So we'll find the positive value of z if it gets close as we can to 0.7. So looking at that, 0.7 is a fairly awkward one. So if you look up values of z that give 0.7, you can get to 0.6985, and you can get to sorry about that, 0.6985, and you can get to 0.7019. So the z values were 0.52. And 0.53. Now the closest one is 0.52, but it might be worth just taking 0.525. So that would be 0.525. Is that's 0.7 below that? So you'll have 0.7 above minus 0.525, and it's that z value that's going to match up with 1.65 because they're both below the mean. So we can then do as we did before, and I think I've put it here. There's my z transformation. I'm going to say minus 0 0.525 equals 1.65 minus mu over sigma. I'm now going to form my second equation, 
and that will be by moving my signal pulse, I'll get my 0.525 sigma, and plus mu will equal 1.65. So I now need to solve these two simultaneous equations to find the values of mu and sigma. So if I do a subtraction, I'm going to get 0.84 minus, minus 0.525. And that's going to give me 1.373. So just do that on the calculator. 0.84 and minus minus 0.25. Okay, the mu's by subtraction will disappear. 1.78 subtract 1.65. And make sure I put the next in there. Equals 0.13. So sigma will be 0.13 divided by 1.373, and you will find that that will come to. 0.0.947. Okay, so we now have a value of sigma. If we substitute that value of sigma into minus um, 0.525 times sigma, subtract it from 1.65, we'll then get the value of mu. And you will find that the value of mu um, will come to. Um, to 1.7. Right, so we're up, not down there. Mu will equal 1.7. So we'll just highlight those two values so you can see you know, what the answer is there. Okay, um, and I'm trusting really that you can um, take that value of sigma, substitute it into either of these, okay, um, and then take to the other side and add it to 1.65. And you'll see. So if you take, if you take, I'll just show you just in case you're not sure what you're doing. All right. So let's take minus 0.525 times the value of sigma I've just worked out as 0.13. Okay. And then if I, okay, so that will give me plus mu equals 1.65. So then mu will equal 1.65. Plus 0.525 times 0.13, and you'll find that that will come out at 1.7 on you. Okay, 1.7 on you. So the final part of the um, question requires us to find the probability that x is greater than 1.74. So bear in mind now that you know the following: you know that the mean is 1.7, you want 1.74, so you want to be greater than 1.74, that's simply going to be 1 minus, or either you are less than 1.74, so the z value will be, so it's 1 minus, look up the z value, the z value will be 1.74, subtract 1.7, which was the mean that we calculated um, down here, we have a mean of 1.7, I've written it there actually. So that's, that's 0.04 over the standard deviation, which was 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.09, 0 0.09, 0 .09, 0 .09 7. Right the so if you look that up, if you calculate the value, you're going to have to look up the z value of. I've yeah, not written that down, it's not the only way. Um, let's just quickly calculate that. So the z value, uh, I'll just quickly do this on the calculator. We are looking at um, point naught four point naught four divided by point naught nine four seven. So we're looking at point four two. So it's one minus Sigma of 0.42. Okay, so if we look up 0.42, we're going to find that comes to in the z table 0.6628. So it's 1 minus 0.6628. So that gives us the final answer then of 0.3372. And that fits with the question because we want to be over. 1.74, so it's certainly not going to be over half, it's going to be something that's less than half. There's your answer, 0.3372.
So that's the full solution then to question 5, Juno 6.